The one on the right is the OG version, so check that video out. As you notice, there's a lot of difference, despite some of the stuff may be similar as a whole. Let's check out the head first. You can clearly see the demonized veins, the iris. The iris is really good. There are two different gradients of pink, darker on the inside, lighter on the outer. A lot of layering, which I really, really like. Alongside with the veins, it's finely printed, and you can tell it's high quality. Alongside with the mouth, it's pretty well sculpted for such a tiny area, and also also well painted as well as you can see the spiky teeth on the left and right side and also for the nose you can kind of see it's prodded out pretty standardized by now and what's more is that the horn is actually sculpted here and there with the cracks or the texture of the horn and on the inner side we've got this darker gradient of gray at the same time unfortunately we can see a lot of the joint lines here and there especially this chunk which kind of takes the immersion out a bit moving along we've got her hair okay now this is kind of debatable whether it's good or whether it needs Needs to be retuned because on the cheaper one, the hair scalp, the flame motion seems to be even more natural than this one that we've got for Figure Art Zero. You can of tell the difference. Therefore, I'd only say it's fair in terms of the scalp because a lot of the chunks, you don't get the finer sculpted lines and also there are a lot of blue marks for the finishing. Let's say here, you can see it being reflected a bit. But overall, it's a fair scalp, definitely not the best, but I've seen some worse ones out there. Coloring wise, as always, the tip, the burgundy or red bit, is always overlapping with the black, which applies to quite a lot of figures out there, especially for Nesco figures. When there are two layers of colors being applied to, one of them will likely be messed up. That's just how it is. Unless, of course, you pay for a high price, high quality figure. Well, these are okay. Fair price, I'd say, not too expensive, so why the hell not, right? The left hand side, I think it's okay, but it's a bit flat in terms of the scalp, but I don't really mind it that much. I mean, Moving down, we've got her tats. So these red leafy tats are all over the limbs, the chest, leg. These are finely printed. I'll take this one as an example. You can feel the high quality of printing, which is nice. No overboard, no smudges. I dig it. Chest scalp is okay. The hands are pretty well done. Let me tell you why. Light pinkish nails on her hands, on her fingers rather. Damn good. And the motion is really good as well. So she's doing this kind of claw motion. I definitely think that the right hand one is very very natural alongside as well which is very very good. Fingers are finely defined, colouring on the nails is on point. In terms of her kimono, the usual, the pink outer gown as well as that band she's got on her waist, flesh is kind of sticking out here. Now for the colouring, haha <laughs> the band, oh my goodness back somehow it's really good no lining overboard everything looks immaculately done well as a whole anyways definitely better than the tanjiro one that we've got before with all the smudges between the turquoise and the black squares now coming down to the crappy bits so for the pink here we have this fading for the pink. I'm not sure whether it's caused by scratches or some crappiness of the pink that they've used, but it's definitely very, very apparent. But luckily, if I'm displaying the figure as such, so you can see Nesco's face, you can't really see it, but if you turn it around, it's so apparent. Like, dude, come on. Moving down, the usual, some of the pink gradients with the lighter pink and the creases with the darker pink spray painted on. This is nice, giving it the depth it needs and also matches well when resonating with the scalp. I do dig this. However, some of the sides are really, really badly done. On the inner side, you can see some of the white overboard. I think with the masking tape or whatever technique they've used, the paint just got overboard and it's a shame to see this crappiness on this figure. Rolling around, the scalp is still pretty good. I mean, Mono kind of slides towards the back with her gesture of kicking and this bit kind of comes down in this flame motion. Similar to the previous Nesco, we've seen some ripped parts on the rims of the kimono. With the sculpted lines of the kimono, it looks okay. Like, we've seen the million gazillion Nescos by now. Gators! The strings are done nicely in terms of paint job. Not much overboard, unless you scrutinize it and enlarge it, which I shall do now. Sandals, a bit of paint overboard here and there with the white, similar to some of the previous ones that we've seen. 
bottom, we can see the so simple lines, not a lot going on here. With the other feet and leg of hers, missing sandal and gaiters, toenails as well, and pink again. Now, moving on to the effect pieces, I do have some comments on this part. Let's start with the flamey parts first. Red and transparent, you can just about see my finger through this. Similar to these ones here on the side, these are bigger. Scalp is really, really well done, but they could have put more work in for this spray painted finishing. Blue parts. Damn, this reminds me of that hand chilo that I've opened up as the initial one. Definitely could be better. Transparent blue, again, you can see my finger through it. Complemented by these lighter blue spray painted on. In a way, I think the coloring could be chosen better because this color looks really plasticky. Definitely differs to this. So it seems like they've got two notions going on, like idea number one, idea number two, but slap everything together, then we've got this finished product. Smoke effect. The scalp is pretty nice, very simple. Coloring, spray paint of the lighter gray on top of the darker gray is nice. Similar to the Utsui Tengen one, not a lot to complain here, very simple. And also we've got some crappy joints for the effect pieces. Overall, I'd say this is a fair figure. Scalp is good, motion is good. Effect pieces, what figure art zero is famed for? Oh, I think they could have put in more work here. It feels like the return of the Hirokami Tanjiro figure that I have opened up previously. Check that video out, it's... <laughs> yeah, so that's it guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, check out my other videos, including the previous Netscore unboxing, which I have opened up previously. So check that video out. And as always, kindly like the like button and sub to my channel for more stuff like this. Demon Slayer, Spy Family, Pokemon, Watch Me Screen Games here and there. And I'll see you guys soon. Until then, Netscore says... Bow, check about wow.